Yo, what's up fam? Good morning. Let's go. So today, we woke up two pounds heavier. Three pounds heavier actually, not gonna lie. Because uh, I haven't updated you, you know? It's like, uh, I've been at 170, then 171, and when it's finally today, 172. Um, and it's because my legs are getting back. I'm able to hit legs and like I put muscle memory. You know, I haven't really been hitting legs the way I should have, but that other leg workout plus the food, it's just fucking now we're going up because I was missing half my body. But um, listen, you know, I got this new morning ritual I got from this guy named Sterling, man. Smart guy, smart guy. And um, he's like a wealthy coach academy guy. So I woke up this morning and um, first thing I did, Grateful for three things. I thought to myself, I'm grateful for waking up. I'm grateful to be able to chase my dreams today. And I'm grateful that, you know, I get to work on my own business. That's, but anyways, anyways, back to the topic. Woke up, grateful for three things. Um, showered, didn't even touch my phone. Didn't even look at my phone. Showered, um, drank some water. All right, drank a shit ton of water. Um, after water, I came downstairs. I got my notepad, two notepads, all right? One for my long-term goals and my second for my day-to-day -day goals to achieve my longer goals. You know, it's an interesting way to look at it, you know, because you have these destinations, goals that you need to accomplish. You're not just how he says reacting. You're not waking up and reacting to everything that comes your way. So after I did that, sat there for about 10, 15 minutes thinking, writing, and um, then after that, so that's step number three. So it's wake up, be grateful. Two, get some water in your body. Three, write in your journals. And step number four, I went and meditated for 10 minutes. So he says you don't react right away. You don't react off the bat of what's going on. Just go, go, no, no, no. You control your mind, you control your emotions. So that's why I'm kind of like, good now, you know, I'm good, energy. Um, but it's about nine something, and I'm gonna get these abs, sit-ups in here again, more vacuums, that morning ritual, man, I'm telling you, morning rituals will get you where you wanna be, because it starts off your day. Okay, let's go. Yo, fam, what up? All right, so, real quick, this thing. Why? Good for your digestive system. I don't know if I spoke about it already. Good for your digestive system, I'm gonna show you how I do it. <clears throat> Take a spoon. I'm gonna show you, I hopefully I get goosebumps. I always get goosebumps, so I'm not gonna talk about hopefully. I wish you could see that. My face gets red. All right, did my vacuums. This is actually nine something. I might not do my abs. I might do them at the gym because I, I gotta get the ball rolling. I gotta eat my food because it takes me forever to eat my food. So, and I hope you like my shirt. Stay positive. Look at this. Damn, I shouldn't even be on the gram. I was actually listening to. Yo, don't be mistaking me for that shit. Um, I'm actually listening to this podcast. Oh man, I just love eggs. Legs with some salt. I eat eggs every single day. There's not a day I don't, that doesn't go by I don't eat eggs. And I like them because they're so good for you. They're really good for you. High cholesterol, that's baloney. You know, you already have natural cholesterol in you. So of course, when you add more cholesterol, it's gonna be a little bit higher, but I'm still alive and kicking. Yo, what up, man? We are changed. We are ready to go. See, the shirt, I think the shirt's really cool, but it's nice. I cut it over here, it's the chest. So we're gonna hit some chest and biceps today. I really don't use this method, and Aaron just got home. I usually don't use this method, but I'm gonna give it a shot because biceps and chest are my weak points. So I really wanna give them a lot of attention. So I'm gonna hit those and uh, let's go. Bam, listen, as I'm over here, this is the music, I'm fucking jamming, I feel good, but listen, I wanted to give you a message, man. It's like, wake up and be like, yo, I'm gonna take control of today. You know, don't put your life in the hands of other people. You know how you do that? Is when you start blaming other people for where you are in your life. You feel, oh, I'm here because of that person, I'm here because of that person. It's like, no, you're not there because of them, you're there because of yourself. It's the choices you make, god damn it. So I just want you to know, like, I want you, I want to empower you and be like, yo, with this thing that you have up here, bro, you can make whatever you want happen. If you're not in a happy place, then find a new place to go to, you feel me? 
but happiness is within. It's not in a destination. You gotta continuously be working to be happy. It just doesn't happen at one day. No, it's continuous work. Just like your body, just like your teeth. You brush them every night, don't you? You brush them every morning. You gotta make sure you work on your happiness every single day. So um, let's keep fucking going, man. Workout though, fucking still got a good pump. My arms are fried. That's one of the best arm pumps I've had in a long time. Reason being is because now I actually hit my bicep, and um, and you can just continuously learning. And um, before I was using too much of my shoulders, my back, my chest. I didn't isolate the bicep, but now I, watch. I guarantee you, give me like two weeks, and my arms will grow. I look back at some of my pictures and I had bigger biceps than I do now and some of the pictures that I'm thinking why and I'm like probably because I isolated them and so um I did a lot of preacher curls back then with my friend Victor he, he's got great arms and um, I would do a lot of preacher curls with him that isolates the bicep um, I took away a lot of the inclined dumbbell curls I do, took away a lot of those and I again that's why my biceps went away but it was really good um, didn't get to finish chest I still have energy I can still do it but I got a client at four so I got to go home and eat so um, yeah um, I'm drinking actually a, a plant-based protein um, it only has like 15 grams of protein but the main reason I'm drinking it is because it's got so many different plants, vegetables, all these different things. I don't eat many vegetables. So if that's another form of way for me to get my vegetables in, fuck it, so be it, you know? 15 grams of protein is not bad. Better than nothing, you see what I mean? And um, so I got that right now. I'm gonna head home and um, let's go, baby. Come on, it's a beautiful day. Yo, what's up fam? So, real quick, you know, I sat down to do some work on my laptop, um, some ideas, some things, work on, but then I got overwhelmed. Too much shit was going through my brain, all this shit, this over here, I'm thinking about this thing, and so much for meditation, goddamn it. 
So I'm like, kind of like, ugh. And so like, I'm like, yo, fuck yeah, I'm just gonna go to the gym. You know, I'm just gonna go to the gym, hit some quads, nothing too big, but I'm just gonna get a pump. You know, you feel me? I didn't even finish my fucking meal just because my stomach is, it's just too much shit is going to my head. And I'm telling you this now because, yo, it fucking happens to the best. And I'm not saying I'm the best, I'm the best, but like, I'm fucking positive, I'm fucking happy, I'm dude, but still, I sometimes still get overwhelmed. You know, I'm 23 years old, 23 years young, and I'm still trying to figure this shit out. And I probably still won't figure it out, man. I still need to learn. I'm only 23. And you see how much energy I have. So you feel me? So it's like, I'm gonna go and uh, go hit the gym, and uh, I'm gonna meet up with Aaron in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna fucking rush there and just put my headphones in, knock it out, knock it out. I'm gonna try to get some film. I can't promise anything. It's gonna be at, at LA, because Busy Body closes at 9. So I'm gonna go and, um, yeah, so I'll see you. Call it what you want, man. Call it what you want. Remember this. Obsessed is the word the lazy use to describe the dedicated. Let's go get this workout, man. I'm gonna hit some quads, and I'm happy about it. I'm blessed, an opportunity to do it. So take advantage of it, and um, if you love something, go do it with everything you want. You don't know when you're gonna die. That's it. So we got a good quad pump. We wrap this knee up. <sighs> wrap the knee up. It was actually a beautiful, beautiful pump. I gotta go. It was only like maybe 45 minutes, but 45 minutes are consistent, consistent. Blood flow, blood flow. It felt great. My knee started hurting at one point, but I was like stuck through it, stuck through it, and um, it feels good. So um, that's it. Let's go eat. Let's go meet up with Aaron, my coach. Let's go. Yo, fam. Fam. Go. I'm hungry! I'm hungry. She's finally off work. I felt like she worked all day. I, I did. I I woke up at 7 a.m., went to the gym, worked till 9, 15, and now I'm freaking hungry. Your abs are coming out. But I'm starving. Abs equal hunger. <laughs> That's not true, though. Misery? Abs. <laughs> Misery? <laughs> Abs. I love food. I have a relationship with food. No one understands like that. I have a relationship with food. It's almost like <laughs> I love food just as much as I love a human being. Look. Like I think I would leave someone just for the food. Damn, no, that's like that's hey, <laughs> Alex. Note to self, future Alex. Note to self. I'm. I'm just. I'm so hungry, and the food gets to you. Like I'm not even on that low of food, and no. I'm fucking. Starving because I have such a big appetite and I get really low energy when I'm hungry. I feel weak. Like I like I just feel like, like I can't do anything. Yeah, you're like, uh, you're like, wind like I'm over here sucking on fucking Tic Tacs, <laughs> replacing it like it's food. I know. Hey, I I understand her pain. I understand her pain. It's like when I was on prep, it was like. <sighs> and it's only been one week. Only been one week. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still like a big. Prog like a big it's progress because she was not on track for the past like what 11 it's weeks, just 12 like weeks 12 weeks she was never three months three months she was never able to get her macros on point maybe like one day yeah, maybe two like days two, two, at the yeah. most in the row but, it's been one whole week today has it to, today has made it one whole week she can't speak <sighs> all right ready and all i have is there like a little meal left so <laughs> i'm just gonna pass <laughs> out on yeah. Friday night because of hunger. Oh, yeah, you're gonna hang out. This sounds great. Gosh, gosh. Alright, um, see you soon. Yo, best invention since fire. I just made this shake. 
oatmeal, milk, peanut butter, water. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, and I still need a couple more carbs. Um, it's about one o'clock in the morning. Twelve fifty-four. Yeah. Um, last meal. I was at my coach's house <clears throat> with Aaron for like an hour talking, which is good. And um, she's hungry. I'm about to finish this. I'm full. Fucking. She's cutting. I'm putting on size. It's a whole different situation. Anyways, good leg day. Good arm workout. Good long day. So let's finish it off with a meal and. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you made it this far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Until then, have a good night.